Hi all, I'm Gijs together with Niels to present our third generation of the flight case. We created this together with fast cases. Um, without their help we can't create it. Uh, we designed it completely in home, after which we uh, fast cased it in their home. They created all the parts, manufactured it and delivered it to us. And after that we created it, put it all together to this beautiful flight case. Without their knowledge, expertise and help we can't create this, uh, this case. So we're very thankful for fast cases to help us out with all the progress of this creating of this part. Yes, and for an international team it's not only in pit but it's also a very important transport uh, case. So um, for us it is very important. Um, the width from the flight case is 2.2 meters. Um, that's around uh, 87 uh, inches. Um, so it fits in every uh, truck. Um, the height is 1.6 meters. That's around uh, 63 inches. Um, so it fits in every commercial airplane. Um, and the width is um, 75 centimeters, that's around 30 inches. Um, that's coming from the wooden uh, top plate inside. Um, it's based on um, three parts. Um, we have a main case on the back, it's a hinged part. And here we have the third part and that's also the top cover when it's open. Now we will open the flight case. Because it's on a hinge, it's very fast to set up this flight case um, and our pit. And it saves a lot of time to set up during the first practice day on the competition weekend. Uh, and that's a huge upgrade uh, compared to our last flight cases. Our new flight case has a couple of improvements and upgrades. Um, thanks to team 4414 high tide and team 1678 seater circuits for sharing their information about their pit case. And now let's take a look to all our features in our flight case. To start with the bottom we added three lightweighted beams under it so forklift can easily pick it up. Also we can add during competition six wheels to it to drive around without lifting, it, lifting the pit case. Then starting on the left we have the uh, storage system with doors which can, which can be locked during transport. The doors can also be taken out easily. If we take a look inside, we have two shelves which are adjustable in height. The storage is 1.1 meter wide, which is around 43 inch. Um, in the storage system are also some power uh, connectors located to charge up some batteries, uh, laptops, phones, etc. Um, on the top we have the workbench, which is a 3 centimeter thick workbench, which is slightly more than 1 inch which can the mount, uh, vice mount it on. Yes, and if we take in the middle, we have here a couple of drawers. Inside, we have stored all our brand new tools. Um, it's organized really net um, in foam. Thanks to Bokov BTM for sponsoring all these new quality, high quality tools. On the right side, we have a battery charge station are 12 uh, locate locations for the batteries charge. Um, everything is made from custom made aluminium. Uh, thanks to the Kromvoort uh, for laser cut all the aluminium parts. And uh, if you see uh, all the orange parts, um, they are anodized. So thank you Adru for sponsoring all the anodizing from the aluminium parts. If you take a look to the back wall, there are four quick tension rails, so we can mount there a lot of materials during the transport. On the left side we have a whiteboard and we have here also some power sockets. Um, there are uh, 230 volts, that's a European power socket, but we have also um, an American power socket on 110 uh, volt. So American teams can also use um, power in our flight case if it's needed. If you look to the inside, it's completely black painted, and so it looks amazing. Thanks to the Verwinkel Volkswagen for sponsoring all the high quality paint, so it looks much better. Uh, in this pit we added two light beams, one on the top and one on the base part, uh, which allows the pit to fully light on the, the workspace we have 
um, with only those two lights. They were powered on the right side of the pit with two switches. Um, then we added also here a beam on the top part to prevent bending from the top part. Uh, in the hinge part we added the custom made inlay um, with all the boxes with fasteners, tie wraps, tape, extra and extra stuff, spare parts. We're gonna need to make a f uh, to fix a robot if it's something broken. Thanks Ferrofast for sponsoring all the fasteners we're gonna use in America. Then uh, we have uh, three uh, uh, aluminum brackets and two on the side uh, which are uh, which those tubes can be placed in. On those tubes can uh, banners mounted to make this pit, pit even be more beautiful as it is right now. Okay, and at last if we take a quick look in front, here we have a TV stand. There are mounted two TV screens. Um, here is a plateau for the computer mouse. On the back we have um, uh, brackets for uh, the laptops. Um, so we can show here our 3D model from uh, our robot. We can show outreach, we can show all information from our team. If you take a look here, that's our new robot card. Um, it's completely made from aluminium. It's re really easy to disassemble so it fits in the flight case. Here is place for two batteries. Um, also the quick connection wheels, it's the same from the flight case, are mounted there. Um, we have here hand grip bolts, so it can easily remount by hand. And it's adjustable in width, so every robot can be fit on the robot cart. Um, there's a higher edge on the bottom, so nothing can fall off there. The, we can place there the bumpers. Um, here you see a bracket for water bottles for the drive team. And we have here on plateau for the driver station. Um, and under the plateau, this fits one box for fasteners and something else for fixing the robot uh, during driving to the, to the field. Okay, this was the explanation video from our new flight case. Thanks for watching. Um, again, thanks to all the partners for making it possible to make this flight case. So thanks FAS, uh, Bokhoven BTM, Adru en de Kromvoortse. Ferrofast and the Verrofinkel and Volkswagen. Um, if you have questions, feel free to come to our pit during the competition and we would like to show you everything in real life. Thanks for watching.